Hello, and welcome to Using Questionnaire in Moodle 2. Uh, this is Dan Trockman at the Blake School. Uh, questionnaire is a service, you could almost say, for your classroom for gathering information. It is not so different than uh, Google Forms, and it's not so different than uh, SurveyMonkey. So if you already have... Um, prior knowledge in using SurveyMonkey or Google Forms and you prefer those uh, of which you can embed into your Moodle page as it is, um, you may wish to stick with one of those. The, the advantage of course of using uh, questionnaire in the Moodle environment is that you've already got your users. Um, it'll record your user names, your users already have their login. Um, you can also record anonymous um, information uh, from them mostly anonymous, at least you can collect data without their names. Um, but questionnaires are, are useful in that it's built into the um, uh, environment here. Another cool thing about questionnaire is when you create a questionnaire, uh, you can make that questionnaire public, meaning other people within your Moodle environment um, will thus be able to say, hey, he's already got a really cool questionnaire about uh, a course, or she's already got a really cool questionnaire about your homework habits. Um, let's use that again and, and just modify it without having to uh, reinvent the square. So uh, there's some pretty cool stuff there. So I'm going to turn, uh, editing's already on, and I'm on the generic Moodle course here at the Blake School. This is just a kind of rehashed environmental science course laid down just for playing with. Um, so I'm going to add an activity or resource as usual the activities are first these are all things that are interactive things that you want students to do versus resources which are down here which are things you want students to see um, activities being more important of course are uh, first and they're alphabetized so questionnaire is right here under Q I'm gonna add a questionnaire and I'm just going to title it how is Moodle 2 going for you thus far Summary, need something, and this is where you, you provide directions. I believe that's two ends. Timing. You can say when it's going to open, when it's going to close. If you leave those blank, uh, in, in this case, it's always open and it never closes. Response options. Um, you can um, allow people to respond a number of times, or you can set the timing for that. Do you want them to respond? Uh, are they limited to once? Are they limited to once a day, once a week, um, or once a month? Um, Response type, what are you going to collect? Their full name with the, with the um, responses or anonymous. So I'm going to say they can respond one time. I want to have their full name. Um, and then who can, re and who can see them? Uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. Uh, you could make it anonymous and then allow students to see each other's answers after they have um, responded uh, or after the full questionnaire is closed. So when you on the close date, which you would list up here, they'd be able to go back and look at that. Uh, save and resume answers. This is a, a cool new feature. This allows you to, if you have a rather long questionnaire, allows you to save at some certain breakpoint and come back and finish it later, which is pretty cool. You could also assign a grade. So if you were using this for a quiz-like uh, environment, if, if you had some reason to do that or you just want to provide um, credit for having completed something, um, you can you can do that there. This is that point where I, I discussed earlier, uh, I want to create a new one or do you want to copy something from before? Um, one that uh, you had used before or one that's public. Common module settings, as always, you can set it 
uh, for group use, so you can divide your answers depending on which group the students are in. So even though you might have one survey for all of your classes, if you had your kids divided up into groups, you could then go back and review the responses based on which group they were in. If you had period one, three, and six, you could go back and look at just period three, just period one, or just period six, and you can divide it up in that way. Um, restriction of access, as we've seen uh, with some other um, of the activities. This is pretty cool. So, for example, uh, if you had just given a quiz, if a student had completed a quiz, uh, then this might become visible at that point. Um, after the quiz has been completed, then you could have a questionnaire based on some sort of metadata that you're asking uh, or you're looking to gain about the quiz. Was it too hard? Was it too easy? What was most challenging? Those sorts of things. You could have that questionnaire pop up after a student had completed some sort of a condition um, based on that. So those are cool. So now I'm done setting up the back end of my um, questionnaire and we'll move on. So we save and display. Now it's going to ask me to create some questions. This is very much like the quiz um, module. questions. I have none yet. Um, in this case, let's do one with a checkbox. So I've got a checkbox type question. You give it a simple name and it's just going to be um, let's say you wanted to ask about the best things so far in Moodle then the test the text this is what they're going to actually see the best thing so far and because this is a checkbox and you can always see what that question type means but with a checkbox you can answer more than one thing I could go on. But let's say we save this one. Once you have one question in there, um, you really could uh, do a preview of it. So I'll do that for you briefly. And you can see how it looks. And this is basically how it's going to look for the person who's taking it. It's a little, it's a little more slick looking, um, uh, and 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 that that's good. But what are the best things about Moodle Two? You might pick. Um, multiple things and of course there would be a, an option to uh, submit that at that point. Um, there are some advanced settings. Um, for example this is where uh, you could make it a public questionnaire type and you could also make it a template meaning um, people could then uh, go in and modify it after um, they get that layout. Um, after submission um, you could have them sent to another place so let's say you were asking questions about uh, use of a certain type of uh, a website and when you're done with it you want to actually send them to that website to continue some work perhaps or a simple confirmation page saying hey thanks you're the best so you might do that at that point well that's it uh, that's a questionnaire and as I said there's lots of options for this type of work uh, the advantage of having questionnaire built into Moodle um, is of course that you already know who your users are. Um, you can assign it so if it's due on a certain day this will appear in the calendar um, and you can assign a grade uh, for completion uh, based on some sort of rubric that you've set up on, on what they need to do within the questionnaire so you can use it like a quizzing environment if you like this engine better than you like uh, the quiz engine. Um, there is no way to score individual um, questions which makes it different than than quiz um, but like assignment you can give an overall uh, grade for it there you go enjoy <laughs>